Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When you get to America's heartland, nothing quite says rivalry like the winner claiming a giant pig. Minnesota and Iowa set to duke it out for the coveted Lloyd of Rosedale. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Williams from the one. Brought down at the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Carries the ball for a nice game. Good for a game, six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He has all day, but scrambles out. He's to the 40. Brought down around the 46-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. From their own 46-yard line, first down. He's got an opening. And down he goes around the 37 yard line. First down. Pressure coming. Going long. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he hits him hard at the 50. And for Blanchard, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Fourth and long here after the sack. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Oh, 
Tackle at the 26. The Hawkeyes have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. First and 10, ball on their own 39. It's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. That's a game one on the play. play. That, that makes it second and 10. ten. The Golden Gophers quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He stopped immediately. That makes it seven and six. Roger, Roger. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's the Watch the one. He's at the 30, and they make the stop right around the 24-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 24. Now he's scrambling. Dives for extra yardage. Picks up about nine on the scramble. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Mike number one, Mike number one. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes it out to about the five-yard line. That brings up second and goal. They're at the five. Second down. He has some room. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. So a nine-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off and he'll return this one from the seventh he gets out to about the 28 yard line the Hawkeyes are right where they want to be early in this one partner well this is what their coach talked about getting off to a great start the defense did their job and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board you never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He 
He's tackled around the 27-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Franklin gets the call. Tackle made at the 30. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Iowa. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Just throws this one away. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Lee is back deep to return the punt. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. There he goes. Tackle at the 34-yard line. the 34-yard line. It's first down. Iowa is up seven. Makes it out to about the 23. point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. He's tackled at the 25. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They'll give it off here, and he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That time, it was the sophomore corner who got in there to make the tackle. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. goes out of bounds around the 28-yard line. There's a strike complete. Brought down around the 43-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. He's at the 40. 
And he's finally brought down at the 30. He got just a little bit of daylight, and that's all he needed to turn that one into a big play. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Steps out of bounds at the 26-yard line. That makes it second and six. Dog four. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Strike to his receiver, no good. And they'll fail on fourth down. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tackles him hard at the 39. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From their own 39-yard line. First down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. to his receiver in a hurry. Brewer picks him up around seven yards with that catch. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Pitch left, and he'll lose yards here. Him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Brown to punt. He fields the punt at the 13. And he's tackled at the 12. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Excellent open field tackle. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And two. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. First down. Field. He's out of bounds at the 36-yard line. That 
brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 36-yard line. Out of bounds at the 40. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. Red two, He chucks it downfield. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. He gets hit out of bounds at the 33-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. And this play is number eight on the drive. He steps out around the 13 yard line. That makes it second and six. This is the 10th play of this drive. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Easy, easy. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Tigers arrived today, ranked number seven. Their steady climb in the polls, they hope, will continue today. The Tigers' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Bush, he's barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. Elsewhere, let's take a look at scores around the country. The Roadrunners continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. The Roadrunners are out front. 21-14. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese. 14-7. Minnesota is ready to kick it away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And down he goes at the 38. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa up seven points. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down to the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38. level at the 31. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Three down, three down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He fires this one. And he is drilled at the 40-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Iowa's lead is a touchdown.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these offenses have been extraordinary running the football in the first half. One of the marks of a great running back, the yards he gets after contact. One of the marks of a great offensive line, the yards the running back gets before contact. And there were plenty of both in the first half. Uh, when you're an offensive line, you're on offensive line because you're not talented enough to play defensive line. That's a fact. So what do they want to do? Well, they say they're smarter, though. Uh, they are smarter, believe me. <laughs> but they, what do they want to do? They want to get their hands on you as fast as possible. They love run blocking. It's much better than dropping back backwards, kick-stepping, and try to catch a fast guy around the corner. They want to make their big mitts on you. They want to make it ugly. They want to grind the game out. And that's what they've been able to do. Everything they've done in the run game has worked so far. And the defense needs to get some stops. And they rush the passer, man. It's a lot more fun than playing the run the whole time. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. From the seven, he's taken down at the 27. We're about set to start things up again. Iowa is up by a touchdown. They'll bring him down right around the 30. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play quick out to his receiver and he's tackled at the 42 down 10 to go ball on their own 42 he fights forward to about the 43 that brings up second and nine to about the 44-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down around the 40 yard line. That makes it second and two. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three-yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it third and five. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Three down, three down. 86 to man, 86 to man. Watch this. And they make the stop at the 35.
Tenth play of the drive. After a decent pickup. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes, that makes it, it second, second and six. six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. Tackle around the 30 yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Here we go. Fuller with a nice play fake. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down at the 18 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18 yard line. Iowa is up seven. Runs outside for a nice game. That's a game seven. That makes it second and two. This is the 14th play of this drive. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He makes the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Tigers came into the game ranked seventh. They're now bungee jumping, and the board's going to break. And for Kent State, they've won two straight. And for Williams, his pass has found the end zone three times. The Golden Flashes win it by three. You can feel the shockwaves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. Davis, ready to kick. Oh, what a hit. The Hawkeye staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Yeah, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. That makes it second and two. So at the end of three, Iowa leads it 21 7. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Fires out to his receiver. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's good for gaining three yards. That makes it first and ten. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Throws complete. He's hammered. 
that's a gain of four on that play. That makes it third and 11. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Caught with room to work. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. First down. Ready! Wide 80! Wide! Motion, motion, motion! Quick throw to the tight end. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Here's the eighth play of the series. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Williams missed the tackle at the 28 yard line. First down. Set. Wide 80. Wide 80. Throws a bullet. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. He's wrapped up for the sack. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick strike, and he drops it. He's hit and taken down. So they get the first down on a big fourth down pickup. These guys will just not go away. They're backed into a corner, but that's when a team performs their best. From the 11-yard line, first down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. On the throw, incomplete pass. Third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 15. Under heavy pressure. Fires that quickly, incomplete. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Church gets about four yards on the play. Minnesota's going to take their first time out of the half. Number 
Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 19. Up the middle for a nice game. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Just over a minute left. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 21-7. Iowa. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.